Bugattis, Koenigseggs, Lamborghinis, Ferraris, Aston Martins, McLarens, what do all these cars have in common? Speed, speed, and more speed. We'll explain why these cars are so popular and why some people line up to spend millions of dollars to buy these cars in today's video. Hey everyone, I'm Travis Spivey, joined my son, Jordan Spivey, and if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on our awesome science videos. Also, scan the QR code in the top left corner of the screen to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. In today's video, we will analyze and interpret data to identify patterns in the relationships between velocity and acceleration. So, so let's, let's do this. Our learning target for today is I can analyze and interpret data to identify patterns and relationships between velocity and acceleration. Before we dive into today's video, let's do a recap of speed to help explain the difference between speed and velocity. Speed tells you how fast or slow an object is moving. It doesn't tell you the direction the object is moving in. The measure of both speed and direction is called velocity. Velocity is a vector. A vector is a measurement that includes both size and direction like acceleration, displacement, force, and weight. So when we look at the formula S equals D divided by T and V equals D divided by T, most people assume that both equations or formulas are saying distance divided by time. This is actually not true. The formula for speed equals distance divided by time, but the formula for velocity is actually displacement divided by time. Speed tells you how far an object has traveled over time, while velocity tells you how far and what direction an object has traveled over time. For example, let's say Jaden travels 200 meters to the left in 25 seconds. His velocity would be calculated as displacement divided by time or 200 meters to the left divided by 25 seconds. His average velocity would be 8 meters per second to the left. Notice that this answer includes how far, how long, and what direction he traveled in unlike speed which would just provide how far and how long. Displacement is the total change in the position of an object along with its direction of motion. For example, at point B in this diagram, the young man is 3 meters from his original location at point A. At point D, the young man is 5 meters west from his original location at point A. Notice that in both scenarios, the displacement told how far the distance and what direction as well. Quick checks for understanding. Number one, what is the difference between speed and velocity? Number two, what is the displacement of this person at points A and C? Take five minutes to write your answers. You got this. Now let's review acceleration. Acceleration is the change of an object's velocity over time. There are two types of acceleration. You have positive acceleration, which means an object is speeding up, and you have negative acceleration, which means an object is slowing down. Look at the following velocity over time motion graph. A straight line going upward shows positive constant or uniform acceleration of an object moving faster. Notice that the blue line has more acceleration than the red line because its line is more vertical than the red line. A straight line going across shows constant or same velocity over time. This is like your parents putting the car on cruise control for 70 miles per hour on a long trip. The velocity does not change over time, so therefore the acceleration is zero. Anytime you see a straight line going across, then there is no acceleration at this point. The red line going down shows negative or constant deceleration of an object slowing down. Quick check for understanding. Analyze the velocity over time motion graph and answer the questions that follow. Number 1. What is the object doing from 0 to 3 seconds? Number 2. What is the object doing from 3 to 4 seconds? Number 3. How is the motion of the object different from 0 to 3 seconds versus 3 to 4 seconds? Number 4. What is the object doing from 4 to 7 seconds? Number 5. Is the object traveling at zero acceleration at any point according to the motion velocity over time motion graph? Back to the beginning of our video. So why do people spend millions of dollars on certain cars? The answer is simple, because of their velocity and acceleration. These cars are able to go from zero to top speed faster than any other cars in the world. Most of these cars can travel at 300 plus miles per hour in a very, very short amount of time. 
Other cars can only get up to 120 miles per hour. For example, the Koenigsegg Jumeirah can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than 2 seconds. To help you understand, most average cars take 6 to 10 seconds to get up to 60 miles per hour. That means this car will simply blow out just about any car you put beside it. In summary, an object's velocity tells us how far and what direction an object travels in in a certain amount of time. Acceleration tells us about the change in an object's velocity over time. Therefore, acceleration is directly proportional to change in velocity. When an object's velocity increases, its acceleration increases. When an object's velocity decreases, its acceleration decreases as well. It's important to know that when comparing distance time graphs versus velocity time graphs, distance time graphs show how far you've traveled over a certain amount of time, while velocity time graphs show how fast you've moved over a certain amount of time. And that's our video for today. Now let's test your knowledge to see how proficient you are with the analyzing and interpreting data to identify patterns in the relationship between velocity and acceleration by taking our video quiz. Use your electronic device to scan the QR code at the top right of the screen or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. Remember, 80% are higher for proficiency. Record your results in your proficiency sheet. And if you don't get it the first time, you and better keep going because, because it's not over until you, you win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell icon, and also scan the QR code to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. Peace, Peace and have a positive, positive productive day. Mm -hmm.